Magma's on the move, guys, in Santorini, and it doesn't stop. It looked like the last day, other earthquake swarms, a little bit dying down. We had less earthquakes, and then just right now, boom, it hit us again. Look at, I'm zooming in, and then you'll see what I mean. Look at that list. The latest on February 17th, 2.9, 2.5, 3.6, 2.8, 5.1 again. And that was after a 4.2 hit, a 3.2, 3.2, 2.4, 1.9, 2.8 .2 down here. Lots of larger quakes. And there was on the 16th another 4.4, another 4.3. So it continues as it was the cumulative energy, the energy that we're adding together of all these earthquakes is going up again. I will show you some very interesting new graphs just in a minute, but I would like you to have a look here. There's one right at Santorini here at a depth of, um, well, they say 16 kilometers, magnitude 1.5. So the pink ones are the recent one. You see that big circle here? That is a 4.2. It's not even the 5.1. So let's click on the 5.1. Where is it? Oh, it's also here. Um, it is northeast. This is where we've seen the swarm travel. So what has actually happened? There is most likely magma on the move originating from the magma chamber here underneath Santorini. We know there's a land rise here at the Nua Kameni area, and there's land rise at the edges here of Santorini. And there is a magma chamber, that station here, there's the Sun station, the GNSS station, the satellite measurements. We have seen that even kind of matching when the swarm began, rapid, that station was moving northeast. And we've also seen the land rise here. And for about two weeks, they have known that there is some gas emissions, volcanic gas emissions, but they haven't told us that. So the swarm originated here, but then was quickly traveling. We have the Colombo underwater volcano here and some other craters here. It was quickly traveling here in this area between Amorgos and here Santorini. There's now a new GPS station on this island here as well. And there's lots of fault lines. So they're suspecting that there's a 30 kilometer long magma intrusion, a magma dike that has formed and the earthquakes basically have traveled with it and magma might have lubricated fault lines in the area. So crazy when we look at these earthquakes, but I want to show you the latest graphs as well. And you see here, there's another 2.9 that just happened here. So that's the latest four minutes ago. So they keep coming in the higher ranges and it's still, it's in this area here. It's not coming down. So there is this theory, are we live watching the birth of a new volcano? And you have to understand guys, this area here is full of craters, of extinct craters, but we also have active volcanoes that have done devastating eruptions in the past and that's Santorini here and that's Colombo here. So let's have a look at some other graphics. Look at this here. This is basically the whole earthquake swarm. It started on January 26th, so that's here. And it was a smaller swarm and then it got intense. And the larger the ball, the larger the magnitude of the earthquake. And there you see that yellow ball there. That's the current 5.1 earthquake. So we see here, starting like February 13th, it looked like, oh, okay, it's getting less. The magnitudes are smaller. And then boom, here we are, the volcano saying, hold my beer. And that's the epicenter. That's where they have this located. And look at this swarm. So it's also here at Santorini, but then Amorgos, and it's really thickening. And what I like to show you here is this. This is a really good animation that shows you how this swarm developed and where it traveled. So you see, it was traveling in that area, and then it was going further north, and northeast. And it's really interesting, the darker the color, the older the earthquake. So you can really see 
over time, day by day, how it's evolving until today. And there you see that big cluster, right? It's You can't even make out the single dots. It's that intense. So the origin was underneath Santorini, but then the area of concern was traveling more into this area. And I would like to show you something else. So we see here the distribution of the earthquakes by magnitude, right? The most of them are in the three range, but also lots in the four range and then in the five range. But what's interesting here is on the right side, also starting from January 26th. So it really is like starting February 13th, we have seen that there's less earthquake. The number of earthquakes is less, but it has in the magnitudes just today in the fours and another five so the magnitudes are not coming down and then i would like to show you this chart here that's the cumulative energy and what does that mean the energy that is released with each earthquake if i add this energy together to one big ball of energy so scientists said a few days ago that energy that has been accumulated by all these earthquakes added together matches the energy that is released by a 6.1 earthquake. But now we have more earthquake added to this. And there you can see the energy was running flat a little bit, going up a little bit, but we didn't see so many earthquakes and we didn't see so many um, earthquakes in the higher ranges in the fourth, like we've seen before, so many in the fourth here in this area. But then you see here, there we go again. That are the f magnitude 4 earthquakes that we've just seen. And that's the magnitude 5 earthquake that we have just seen. And then here is again, you see the spread of the magnitudes um, that you see here. That's the cumulative count. So how many? And there you see these bars that we have looked at. And then on the right side, you see it's starting on February 12th till February 17th. So this is the spread of the magnitudes, right? So we see it's going in the five ranges here too. The yellow one is the, the latest one. That's the last few days where this is going. And also something that is interesting, if we look at this here, this is the area we have Santorini and these areas here, but you see how widespread it was felt. So it was felt on the Turkish coast, it was felt in Athens and in Greece and even here. So widespread and widely felt. And the last graph that shows us also the big, big cluster here of this earthquake swarm. And the bigger the circle, the bigger the magnitudes. But this is not up to date. This is only till February 11th. But it certainly shows you how many earthquakes. So it doesn't stop rumbling, guys. And at the same time, Campi Flegri is going crazy in Italy. I'm just mind, how you say that? My mind is boggling, blowing, whatever. You know what I mean? It's crazy. There's a continuous earthquake swarm that's basically has been going on for over a week now, similar to Santorini, but Santorini has way more earthquakes. But for Campi Flegre, this is something very unusual. The people are absolutely frightened right now. They have spent the last night with 3.9, 3 point something, 2.9. They were running on the streets, sleeping in their cars, and many of them are even packing and leaving, getting out of the area, which I'm grateful that they are doing this. But check out the videos in the end screen, guys. You'll really have to see what's going on. And if you want to learn more about information, more information about what happened on Friday in Santorini, the seismic pattern has changed. It was so intense for one and a half hours. So it was absolutely crazy. The magma was rumbling and it was going somewhere. Something was happening. Check out the video in the end screen as well, guys. And if you like what you see, please leave this video a like. And if you want to support me with a coffee to keep me going, because I'm a little bit tired right now. I've spent like the last, I don't know, I think almost 20 hours just releasing video after video. Because 
all the areas are rumbling. I want to keep you updated. Go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. The link is in the description of this video if you want to support me. Um, and thanks so much for the ones that have been doing this. It helps so much, guys. You have no idea. Thanks for the supers and for the comments and for just watching. I'd love to see you again very, very soon. Stay tuned and don't forget the end screen, guys. Stay safe.